Hi Geminis, I was in the middle of your reading and uh, my camera got distorted. So let's get started again. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs. And uh, do hit the subscribe button to stay updated with the videos and do write down in the comment section below how this reading resonates with you. So what we were discussing here was that Gemini's, I guess you were dealing with somebody who was too focused on their work, who was too focused on their pentacles, their finances, their career, that this person used to neglect you sometimes. And uh, maybe this was the point of conflict between you both or this was uh, a point of competition where you had to fight and you have to compete for their attention. You had to um, compete for their attention amongst other priorities they have. This person is very dedicated, maybe a workaholic, maybe someone who was too focused on minting money. And uh, right now this person might come back to you and tell you that, okay, let's get started again. Let's start a new passion again, new beginning, new something new. I hope this new beginning and new passion is not just for sex. We'll clarify it and see what is the details. I And you're telling them that I'm disappointed. I'm not satisfied by your behavior. I've been competing for your attention for so long. You want attention. You want this person to look at you, show you passion, show you care and bring this relationship back. You're very disappointed here. You're telling them that you, and you're sharing your disappointment with this person here. So uh, what I mainly see here is immature energy. Intentions, I do, we'll clarify each and every card though, but I do feel that you both are surrounded by very, very immature energy here. Very immature energy, pages, they are page of swords, you are page of pentacles. But overall, I feel you still want to offer something to this person. You still want to start something new. You want to uh, start a new foundation, a small a new effort to start something new. You want to bring back stability and this person here, my God, this person is acting really kiddish. They might be spying at you quietly. They might be looking for your information. Maybe this is somebody who went off, went out of the connection because of their work. See, I do. I clarified eight of pentacles and cards were tower and pen five of pentacles. So something major happened with the background of this person, maybe. Maybe they were busy working, busy, heavily focused on something, heavily invested into something. Something major happened. This could be a family situation. This could be a family work-life situation where some major tower movement took place and this person got shattered. There was a big shock to their system and a big shock to their surroundings and this person had to leave you. I feel that this person left you in the past or this can be a situation where this person was cold, this person was acting cold. Even if you were talking, even if you were in communication, I don't see a complete cutoff of communication though, but this person was very cold. They were not giving their 100% to you. What otherwise I see is that a conflict. Five of Wands, you were fighting for their attention. Let's clarify Five of Wands. Yes. So you were very clear with them. You wanted a new beginning and you honestly told them that your approach was very logical. You were irritated, you were fighting for this connection, for this relationship, this person was acting cold and you were very stubborn. The sea, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. This can be a Scorpio, Earth sign, uh, a Virgo you've been dealing with. I see multiple signs here, maybe a, another air sign or an earth sign that you're dealing with. You wanted stability, you wanted a foundation, you wanted a happy home with this person. <clears throat> I won't be shocked if you've been asking from this person for a, ma for a commitment, marriage, foundation, stability mainly. And uh, this person was rushing out, they were cold. I do feel some financial issues though. I don't see any third party as such, but I think this person was running away from you because they wanted financial stability. This person lacked financial stability. I see a cold behavior and I see some cold arguments, cold behavior, conflict, competition here. What is the Ace of Wands? What are they telling you right now? Is this person coming back to you? <laughs> Ace of Wands, clarified by Ace of Wands. Big time passion. I oh, 
I was just about to say that uh, I hope this is not sex, just sex, but no, it is not. Something ended, something major ended in the past. This person took a lot of time to heal and now they're coming back. They're telling you that whatever their condition was, it's ending. They have been running from this equation for so long, but now this person is done running. They have been running from this connection from so long, but this person is finally acknowledging that they love you. They need you. And you are their lovers, the lovers card here. Please clarify the Ace of Wands again. Six of Wands, see the Six of Wands here and the Six of Wands here. This person wants your attention now. Maybe this person was running away from you in the past because I don't see any third party. I don't see any negative uh, emotion attached to this person. I only feel that this person was running from you because they were not financially stable. They wanted financial independence. They want growth. They wanted to be financially balanced. And now this person is coming back to you because they want your attention now. Why are you so disappointed? Why is the moon here? Please clarify the moon. Okay, so you were very attracted to them. Four of Pentacles, okay. Uh, okay, Geminis, this can be a twist here. I see two possible situations. Maybe you were disappointed because you were very attracted to your, this person and this person was holding back from you. So you just turned your back towards them and you're not offering your love to this person now because you're very irritated. The other situation is possible that while this person was away from you, while this person was not focusing at you, they were cold with you. You found somebody new. You found a new attraction. You found somebody very passionate, very attractive, can be a fire sign, male, or if you are a male, this can be a fire sign female. Somebody you've been very attracted to, somebody who is very charming, very attractive, and you are looking towards them. See the three of cups here. Justice, fool, yes. I do feel that since this person was avoiding you in the past, and since this person was not coming back to you, you found new passion, new interests, and you're holding back from this person now because you are passionate about something else now. You're very disappointed by this person, maybe. But this person is coming back to you for new passion, new attraction. Please clarify this page of swords here. Please clarify this page of swords. So this person is stuck on you, Gemini. This person is finding about your... This person wants to move forward with you because they realize that you're their happiness. And they're finding out from other people that... You are, maybe you're dating with other people, you have found some new happiness, new interest in your life. At the same time, this person is quietly spying at you and they're stuck on you. They might be uh, looking for your information from your relatives, from your uh, known people, neighbors, friends, and maybe checking out your social media accounts and everywhere. But they want information about you because they're stuck on you. And what is this page of pentacles here? Ace of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. You want clarity. You want to tell this person that I've been waiting for you for so long and this is now the point where I'm so irritated. I've been offering this pentacle to you. I've been offering this stability to you but I've been waiting for a clarity from you. And I'm done. I'm irritated. I've been soul searching for so long and I need some time now. Maybe you're asking for some time from this person because though at heart you do want things to move forward but overall I feel that you're still patient you're not taking any eager step what can be an outcome that we can expect for gemini's in the month of october mid month october 2019 lovers nothing to worry gemini's take a deep of faith in whatever direction you want this is divine connection this is beautiful this can be your twin half this is so beautiful see the lovers here the purusha and the prakriti Beautiful divine connection. The lovers, please clarify the lovers here. Please clarify the lovers here. Mid month October. Hierophant, Moon, Ten of Wands. So, there are two things possible here. You might get into a relationship with this person, but overall, you're still very disappointed with them. And you're carrying some past burdens. I think you found a new attraction, maybe. Let's see. I do feel that you're getting committed to somebody this month. If not an official commitment, then I do feel something new is coming towards you in the terms of commitment, in the terms of a new relationship, love. 
but i do sense some third party here some third party influences because of which the moon is here and the ten of wands i feel double situations here maybe this is a situation where you are attracted to one person and you're dating another person maybe since now you have gotten to a commitment with another person and this person is coming back to you you find love in them back and you you this this new relationship is becoming a burden at you because you want to end that relationship and you want to move towards your ex this is one scenario possible the other scenario possible is that uh, i see that you've been dating one person and you attracted to another person this can be a clumsy third party situation where uh, you might be in commitment with any one of them and you are in a deep soulmate connection with the other person so uh, just see how it resonates for you do write down in the comment section below how this reading is re resonating with you but uh, i feel that some burden some situation is coming towards you because it's about two commitments though i see hierophant and lovers together um this could be a happy ending happy ending card but because of this moon and ten of wands i feel that some disappointment is still associated in this connection uh, i sense a heavy third party here heavy third party connection maybe you started dating someone because this person was avoiding you and now when this person is trying to come back to you you feel that i've been dating someone and now i i cannot backstab the other person so some some clumsy situation please write down in the comment section below what is the situation i would love to hear from you thank you for watching the video and if you wa want to find me for the personal readings please find my details in the description box thank you so much bye bye take care